Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be a general reading for the zodiac sign of Pisces. It will not resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This is going to be for any Pisces placement propensity that is important to you. Contact re contact information and personal reading information are all on my website. The link for that is in the description box. At the end, I will also pull some oracle cards for you just to give you some more guidance for the week. We got me all this started here. Just to give you some more guidance for the week. And this is going to be for the third week of January. Although time is not linear, we are all on different timelines. This could have already happened. This could be happening now. May also happen in the future. Let me get here. Got a few extras. I'll take the first two. Mm, but these did come out. Seven of Swords, Nine of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. Yeah. Someone was being sneaky and now they want to talk about it. Now the truth's coming out. <laughs> okay. Bottom of the deck this week, Pisces. Ooh, beautiful. Four of Wands energy. Stability on the home front or around your home or something that just makes you feel stable in life or in this 3D world. Four of Wands is a celebration of milestones, you know, graduations, buying houses, engagements, big pivotal moments in our lives that we celebrate that, um, you know, usually bring some sort of uh, like groundedness or like permanentness, right? When you buy a house, it's quite permanent. Get engaged is quite permanent. Having a baby, very permanent. Things that will change your life dramatically or change the stability in your life, right? But beautiful energy, beautiful energy. 11, 11 energy as well. Make a wish. In your past position, four of cups and a three of pentacles. Another four here. Four, four is definitely could be significant for you. Uh, yeah, four of cups. Potentially missed opportunity here on someone's behalf. Definitely there was some sort of opportunity to work together, to cooperate, to build. Looks like someone wasn't quite paying attention to it. They were focused on the wrong things here. Missing a divine opportunity presented by the universe. That dangling cup is the Ace of Cups, right? But it looks like someone didn't see it for what it was at the time. Maybe their focus was elsewhere. You know, they just weren't looking that way. But definitely feels like someone is realizing that they're miss they, 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 they have missed that opportunity. And with that Three of Pentacles energy, it's definitely been co-signed by the universe. You know, all aspects are in place for this, was in place for it to work. Mind, body, spirit. At least one person was all in. In your present position, we are coming in with the Major Arcana for Cancer, Chariot Energy, and Major Arcana for Scorpio, the Tower. Big, big, big shifts and changes going on here. Some movement, whoever this was sitting in this four, four of uh, cups. Yeah, they're getting ready to move. Yep, yeah, they're not going to be sitting there much longer. If this is you or someone you're connected to, someone's ready to move. Someone's ready to take action. And this might be shocking for someone. Might be shocking to you. Might be shocking to the person if you're the one making this movement. Because someone's definitely realizing, yeah, there was something beautiful here. There was a lot of potential for something beautiful. And they're going to move on it. Whether you agree with that or not, that's your business. But they're going to move on it. Free will, right? Free will, but definitely some sort of pivotal, huge changes here. Someone could be traveling, literally, could be by air. I'm seeing this guy falling out, right? Or this is just going to be quite, you know, the actions of this person is going to be quite, as, like, shocking. You're not going to expect this. Or maybe this person just got the sudden, like, urge or need to make a move maybe now seeing this three of cups four of cups for what it is definitely something this this is protected though with these two fours here 44 this is definitely a protected situation between two friends two lovers whatever it is for you you and someone else where they did not really understand i think the depth of the connection before right 
I don't think they understood, but hey. In your future energy, five of cups, two of cups, more cups, right? More cups. More cups. Yeah, there was definitely some confusion here. We have the five plus the two, which is a seven. Definitely someone was confused. They weren't seeing things clearly. Definitely seeing things absolutely clearly now because look how this is playing out. See, this is why I love jumpers. It's a very clear message, not from me. Three of, I mean, five of cups. He's got the three of cups here. The same three cups that he was pondering over, paying attention to, wasting his energy on. Right? Now they're spilled over. Those cups that he was so fixated on in the past and whatever that may be. That could just be emotional baggage. That just could be, you know, bad situations that played out emotionally from the past. That was keeping this person from seeing what was right in front of them. Previous failed relationships. Right? And look, those same three cups that were focused on before, they're all spilled over now. And look what's left standing, the two of cups. And look what he's not paying attention to. The two of cups. This was definitely some sort of love situation for most of you. Someone is in deep regret, though, very in deep regret, but definitely still focused on the wrong thing. Focused on all the wrong thing. Always focus on the wrong thing. This is definitely screaming someone with emotional trauma to me. No excuses. This is just a condition of being a human being, right? We all have shit. We all got shit. This person's shit is emotional trauma. It creates a lot of confusion emotionally. You know, a lack of trust in their self and the ability to judge good situations, bad situations. Not that there is such thing. But, you know, <laughs> to the regular mortal, it, there is. So definitely this person has a lot of trauma around emotions that distorts their perception of, of what is right and what is not right for them. Because we all have different things that's right for us, right? But they know it now. They see it now. You see the progression? going from the four to the five so this person's definitely had some time to think about some things and the realization is the two of cups a mutual partnership something where both eggs would have been yoked both is, is that how the saying goes i don't know but you know what i'm saying divine right and you did get two extra cards two of pentacles so another two so you have two two four four Major synchronicities, major alignment energy as well. Definitely an indication that somebody is definitely coming online. Spiritually speaking. Two of Pentacles, juggling. I think this is more of a should I, shouldn't I, or how am I going to go about bringing this chariot energy back in? Temperance energy, major arcana for Sagittarius. Balancing. See this? See, oh, this is just, this is beautiful. They're both balancing. This is exactly what's happening. You're balancing. This person's balancing. The situation's balancing. The fix-it angel's about to step in and just balance the shit out of everything. Look at that. I love the reflectiveness. I love the um, mirroring that's going on. It's like a little story, ain't it? What's underneath the four of wands? Ooh, the t another two. Two, two, two. 2022. New partnerships, new contracts, making plans for the future, choosing a path, a path to what? Oh my gosh, 10 of pentacles, 10 of cups. And I'm seeing the death card and I'm seeing the nine of cups. This is just absolutely gorgeous Pisces. Gorgeous. Confidence is your key to success. I think this is for whoever this story is about here. They need some confidence emotionally. They need to be able to trust in their ability to make emotional decisions. And that's just on period. Let's get some of these. They need to be able to trust their decisions emotionally. And know that they've grown. They've become wiser. They're not going to make the same mistakes or choices that they made in the past as an un online person, right? Boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? I think you've already established boundaries with this person in particular that we are speaking about and i think that is what is helping this person come online as as the story goes right what do we have for pisces third week of january so we have two 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 four four yeah ten ten 
Pisces. One card for Pisces. Take the first two. That's way too many that popped out here. Cow Spirit. The miracles are endless. Is that what it says? Yeah. Number 15, which is a six. Which we are in a six year. Two, two, two is a six year. Abundance energy. Lots of abundance coming in. Miracles are endless. And number three, set healthy boundaries. Another card of boundaries. And now we have two threes. Armadillo spirit. Three, three, four, four, two, two for you this week, Pisces. Major alignment coming in. You're definitely aligning to something. And I think it's matters of the heart and abundance. And I think that's going to release some sort of blockage. Because we have a lot of boundaries being spoken of. And, you know, with this abundance coming out, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, definitely there was some sort of bound uh, blockage created with this situation. Either within you or within someone. But it's looking like it's getting ready to be released. The miracles are endless. That is a beautiful reading for you this week, Pisces. I really do hope that resonates with all of you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment if it does. Um, and I will see you next week. Happy New Year.